Oh, blessed be God, you are welcome to this 10th day of this podcast. And we are trusting that God is blessing you through this podcast. Today, we want to push forward a little bit on the issue of Jahel, knowing that this is the direction God is leading us concerning how to get ourselves ready for this coming decade. We are in Yasmin to understand that the spirit of Jahel actually pronounce Yahel, that the spirit of Yahel shall begin to prevail in the church of God. And I believe this spirit is going to come mightily upon many women, but I do not believe that that spirit is limited only to women. I strongly believe that as many as you themselves give themselves over to intercession, will become great giant killers, even in the corners of their rooms, on their knees, even when these people are not people that are known with titles and all over the world. These are the people that God begins to use mightily to bring about great deliverances for his people and to bring about great turnarounds that are necessary for this decade for God to do what he intends to do in it. Praise God. So, going back to that story in Judges chapter 4, we're going to see that the loss of Barak became the gain for Jahel. And the prayer we're going to be praying today concerning that is that Lord, because let's quickly look at what led to Barak loss. Then we see what led to Jair's gain. You see that in the case of Barak, he was given an offer, just like Peter was given an offer to be the apostle to the Gentiles. But he was more righteous than God. <laughs> Praise God. And he lost out. And his loss became a gain for Paul. We see also in the case of David, the king, the Bible says Saul, he lost his position in 1 Samuel chapter 15. The Bible says, I have taken the kingdom away from you. I think that's verse 28. And I've given it to a neighbor of yours that is better than you. I'm saying that this is a decade of replacement. A lot of people will be replaced in this decade. And that is why it's needed for us to be careful to check the lessons that are coming from the life of Yahel. Here we saw that Barak was offered to go to war. God told him to go and he would deliver the people into his hands, but he wouldn't believe enough. He was so fearful. He was not ready to believe God to complain with her heart. He was even demanding that um, Deborah would go with her, with him to war. The woman consented, but he said, look, the honor of killing, uh, of killing uh, Cesarea will not be yours. It's going to be another person. And that other person was going to be Yahel, as we later understood. I'm saying that we should be bold. We should be brave. We should be courageous. We should be believing in this new decade that we are coming. Because God will be asking us to do certain things that may not exactly be conventional, that may not be exactly easy for us, that may not be exactly what we think we can do, but we will need faith. We will need courage. We will need to be brave to be able to do the will of God so that we will not end up doing the laboring, the running up and down and another person gets the honor for it. You see what Barak laws became the game for our sister Yahel. What did Yahel do? Yahel was able to trust God. She did not give any room for fear. She did not give any room for whatever we hinder her for unbelief that will make her not to trust to take the advantage that God has brought unto her. What we saw in the life of your hell, was that she took advantage, she took step. I'm sure that she was apprehensive. How could she, an ordinary housewife, try to kill a general that had tormented the Holy Spirit? In fact, if you go to, the, to read about, about, uh, about Cicera from the writings of uh, the historians of old, you will see that he, said he, had, that he had never fought a war he did not win. Never won. And so he was so big a man that for a mere housewife, so to say, to think of bringing him down would be something that would be very, very apprehensive. But she refused to give in to her fears. She refused to give in to her apprehension. She went ahead knowing that this is what the will of the Lord is. He went, she went for it. And today, by the grace of God, even Barak himself and Deborah had to sing in the honor and the praise of the great woman of God. I am saying to us today, that we should do. Go ahead and do as God lays in our hearts. We should not allow fear or apprehension to take us away. So today, the prayer point I want us to pray earnestly is 
to take authority over every spirit of fear that has in any way that is eating us up, whether consciously or unconsciously to us. Those things that are making us not to respond to what we clearly know is the will of God for us. Maybe because we are afraid of what people will say. Maybe because it has never been done. Maybe because we are, we are scared we don't have the resources. Maybe we are scared we don't have the competence. Maybe we are scared we don't have what it takes. Maybe we are scared that we are not like other people that God has used to do those things before. I am saying that this is the time to take authority over that spirit of fear. The Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but has given to us the, the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. That is what we got in Christ. And we got to exercise ourselves in the same. So I'm challenging us today to take, lift up our voices and take authority. We are not praying to God now. We are taking charge. We are taking authority over the spirit of fear that will not allow us to enter into the thing that God has already prepared for us. And I'm asking us to take authority over that spirit today and not give ourselves to it again. And make sure you take a practical step this 10th day, this day of completion, this 10th day of the podcast. I want to take practical step concerning whatever God has ever laid in your heart or is laying in your heart to do. Take a step about it today. Talk to somebody about it. Commit yourself to somebody. Be accountable to somebody and trust God to see you through. Take that step today, and I'm sure that at the end of the day, your story will be greater than that of our sister Yahel. God bless you as you pray. See you tomorrow.